Hello, today we're going to do a Peacock Inspired eyeshadow look. We're going to start off with a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Now once you've applied that, you want to go ahead and use your finger to evenly distribute the product. I'm going to take it all the way um, above or below, should I say, of my brow bone. Just keep, you know, pressing that in, smoothing it out. Make sure you have a nice smooth canvas. The reason why I'm using a white base is because the colors that we're going to be using are going to be very vivid today. So I'm going to go ahead and use a flat shadow brush. And I'm going to pick up Graffiti by Urban Decay. And I'm going to place that on the inner corner of my eyelid. So I'm just making sure I'm packing it on. Next, I'm going to be taking Peace by Urban Decay as well, and I'm going to place that on the rest of the half of the eyelid, the outer corner of the eyelid. Then you want to buff those together, that way they blend well. like so. Next I'm going to take a eyeshadow brush, it's a tapered eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to pick up Ransom, also by Urban Decay, and I'm going to place that on my crease, blending up and out. Now the reason why I'm using a white shadow base is because since the colors are very vivid, you want to make sure that we have a nice smooth canvas and um, the white base will allow the colors to become more vivid and more true to its color. Next, I'm going to take a round blending brush and I'm going to pick up Fishnet by Urban Decay and place that right above the ransom, closer to the brow bone. Just make sure you buff that in very well. Next, I'm going to take a highlight. I'm using Rice Paper by MAC. I'm placing that right below my eyebrows where it meets Fishnet. Just make sure you blend that in. Next, I'm going to take the tapered um, shadow brush. And I'm going to pick up Deep Truth by MAC, just a little bit. And I'm going to be placing that on the crease of my eyelid. This is going to give depth to the eye and give more dimension to it. And just make sure you buff that in where it meets ransom and fishnet. You don't want any harsh lines again. Just keep buffing it. Blend, blend, blend.
Here I picked up a little bit more of Ransom with the round blended brush and buff that in. Like so. Don't just clean up any corners. Make sure it looks similar to the other eye. And I'm going to take the Milk Jumbo Pencil Liner and I'm going to place a little bit on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take an angled tapered brush. I'm going to pick up Deep Truth. I'm going to put that on the outer corner of the eyelid. Next, I'm taking Ransom. Then I'm picking up Fishnet and placing that on the inner corner of the eyelid. Then just blend those two together. Next, I'm taking a pencil brush, a blending pencil brush, and I'm picking up Peace which is like that turquoise teal color. And I'm placing it right below all those three colors I just used. Just to give it a little bit more of a pop and dimension to it. Just buff those colors in together. Next I'm taking my face powder brush and just swiping away any fallout or any eyeshadow that might have been left over from the eyeshadow. Next I'm taking an angle brush and I'm going to go ahead and place my fluid line by MAC. Now this is optional. I prefer doing eyeliner with such a dramatic um, eye just because it will open up the eye and give it a more um, defined look. So I'm using black today, or black truck, should I say. Next, I'm taking my falsies. I actually placed the rhinestones myself on these falsies. It's very simple. I'll do a tutorial later on them. And I'm taking my duo glue and place it on the end of a shadow brush just a little bit just like a little teardrop and I place it to the lash line I let it dry you want it to again you want it to get tacky do not try placing the falsies right away you want it to kind of get a little sticky that way they stay on your lash if not it's going to make a mess and you're Shadow will be completely ruined. So just take your time when applying the falsies. Then use the end of a shadow brush just to secure and push that in. Now the glue will set to clear and dry once it's completely dry. Go ahead and put a coat of mascara. I start on the lower just to give it a few more seconds for the upper lash falsies to dry. And then just apply a little bit on the upper lashes just so they, you know, join them together and it looks a little bit more natural. And this pretty much completes the look. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment, subscribe, and rate. Thank you guys. Bye.